Share This lets you add inline share buttons to your Webflow project. And what does that mean? It means people who visit your site or a page on your site will not only be able to click share buttons to share on social media, but Share This will actually track that click out. It'll track how much your site content is shared. As for Webflow, we can connect it by adding our project to Share This, and then pasting a quick code snippet from Share This into our Webflow project, and then adding the actual buttons to Webflow. Let's start by adding our project to Share This. This part's really quick. This is Share This. We know that because at the top it says Share This. If you don't already have a Share This account, now's the time to sign up. What we're looking for is the option to set up a new property. And for this property, we'll enter our project's URL. This is the URL of your published site. And once we're done with that, we want to get the code snippet for inline share buttons. That's part one. Part two is even quicker. We want to grab the code. Let's grab the code and copy the whole snippet to our clipboard. Back in Webflow, let's access our project settings. This is where we can paste the snippet we just copied to our clipboard. And we can do this from custom code. All we have to do is paste the code in the header. Of course, let's save our changes and then go up to publish the project. We want to update that header on the published project. And that's really it, but let's verify our work before moving on. Back in Share This, let's verify manually. This is where you can type out the URL of your project. And since it was just added to the header of every page, you can type out pretty much any URL for your project right here. And we can press Verify. Then press Update. And if this doesn't work right away, reach out to Share This and make sure the code snippet was fully copied. But that's part two. Part three, let's add the buttons to a page in our project. We're still in Share This. This is the same place we were at before, but now we're going to copy the inline share buttons. Now, a quick note. You can customize your buttons here, but the great thing is you can also customize later. So for right now, let's copy the buttons to our clipboard, just copying that code. Okay, back in Webflow, what we'll do here is paste that code into an element, which we've yet to drag in, which we'll drag in right now. Let's grab an embed element. We'll drag that element into our design where we want the Share This buttons to appear. And when we do, nothing, because we have to paste. Once we do that, still nothing. Let's save and close. And the reason we see nothing is because that code snippet we just pasted, it's a reference. That code snippet, that embed, is talking to the other code snippet we pasted in our project settings. So how do we make this work? Let's publish. Once we do that, still nothing. Let's open it. The buttons are right where we told them to be. Now, the last quick note about this process, if we go back, if we head over to share this and further customize the buttons, the look and feel, check this out. We can make whatever changes we want, then press update. And when we do, it gives us a polite reminder that changes can take a bit. But without even touching our published site, let's go back over and refresh. And just like that, Share This has given our site superpowers. Is that hyperbole? No, because it's in the actual code. Except it isn't, because Stacy doctored the image in Adobe Photoshop. But the great part about all of this is we can look inside Share This at something called social analytics. We can track the performance of these social shares over time. But that's it. We added our project to Share This. We pasted a snippet into our project settings. We added the buttons to an embed element in our project. And Stacy falsified a code snippet, forever tarnishing our commitment to the- Enough.